$1,000. What's up, Money Geeks? Mr. V here. Welcome to another video, guys. So in today's video, we're going to be looking at how to invest your first $1,000 with Vanguard. So I did a video in the past showing you how to open a Vanguard account and fund your account. So I'm going to hook that video up here so you can definitely go check it out. And then most recently, I've done another video really explaining to you why we decided to use Vanguard for our brokerage account. Again, I'm going to hook the video up here so you can go check it out. So uh, if you've been following the channel, like I talk a lot about investing um, for your future. So if you are uh, looking at taking that next step, let's say 2020 your objective is to start investing and you have a thousand dollars to start. Uh, I'm going to show you where to go and where I would put a thousand dollars. I'll show you the funds that or the ETFs that we're going to buy. And then I'll tell you why we're buying the ETFs as opposed to index funds at this particular time. So let's jump into it and kind of take a look. Come on. So here we go, guys. Um, once you go to Vanguard.com, you go to investing, uh, investment products, and then ETFs. And so you can choose um, your Vanguard ETFs from here. And the reason why um, I, I say you should choose Vanguard ETFs is because um, when you trade Vanguard ETFs on the platform, it's totally free. Um, I know Vanguard just came out lately uh, with the news that um, trading on the platform is going to be commission free moving forward. So um, if you want to trade any other uh, ETF, it might be free. I haven't I haven't tested that, so I'll, I'll probably try that um, in the near week or so. But um, Vanguard offers a bunch of ETFs grouped into sectors like, let's say, technology, consumer goods, energy, real estate. Um, every area that you can think of, they have an ETF that represent that particular area, say healthcare, um, just name it. Um, and so um, if you come in here, what Vanguard has actually done for people that are just starting out like yourself, you want to invest your first $1,000, they, uh, they have a list of ETFs here that you can, you can choose from. Um, and this, these four ETFs, ETFs here are designed to give you kind of a balanced portfolio. But um, for you starting out, you don't have to go buy all four because you only have $1,000, right? So you can start with one. Uh, in most cases, as you're starting out, uh, based on your age, if you are really young, let's say in your 20s or maybe your 30s and you plan to retire in 30 or 35 or 40 years, and then you can you know, buy mostly stocks and not worry about the bonds. But if you are in your, say, um, late 40s 50s and you you're looking at hey i want to retire in the next five or ten years you can start balancing your portfolio and put it into some bonds in there so that uh that way you're not super exposed in case there's a crash in the market so um so this uh vti is a really good um uh, etf and in so for people that are just starting out this is one of one of my 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 favorite ET, uh, etfs so i'm going to show you uh, what that etf looks like so this is it right here. Um, and so uh, if you look at it, key things to uh, look at when you're buying an ETF. Number one is that expense ratio is really low. So it costs really, really uh, uh, just a tiny fee to maintain that particular ETF. So you're not getting charged um, some crazy amount of money um, to maintain the ETF. And then uh, if you come down here, if you look at this is the, the performance of that ETF over 10 years so since inception this etf has been performing at about 7.6 percent annually average so they're averaging that across um the 10 years that it, it's been in existence so but you see here this one has been in um, existence since 2001 and the average is 7.6 percent so that's not bad so um hypothetically if you had invested ten thousand dollars in this particular um, ETF in let's say 2009 uh, what you would have is about thirty five thousand dollars right now in your account if you're investing just ten thousand dollars so think about uh, for the amount of work that you're doing which is pretty much nothing all you do is just buy it and just let it sit um, two things are happening um, this ETF is paying you dividends um, and, and again, it's actually growing. It's you know the, the the price keeps going up, and so that's how you can make that money. So this is well, one of my my favorite. So if we go down here, these are the sectors that are in the ETF. So it covers pretty much um, everything across the board: utility, telecom, and technology. 
uh, consumer goods, this is really good. So you're not, I mean, it's not like you're just exposed to one sector. Let's say if you're just doing just oil and gas and this whole thing with uh, Iran went down, the price of oil and gas will probably just go down and your ETF will crash like crazy. But see, if oil and gas is going down, you have technology, you have consumer goods that are going to hold you afloat. And these are the top 10 stocks uh, or holdings in that particular ETF. So um, most of it technology, um, I see some banking in there and stuff like that. So this is this is really good. So um, VTI is a really good one to start with. And then if you want to see, uh, let's just say uh, the price performance, um, you can open this tab here and it would show you how the price has been doing so this is the 52 week high 166 and 52 week low is 132 so um this is ideally this is a really good place to buy if you can if you can get in at that point um but anyways the most important thing is just to keep um, um buying and adding money to it so that is it and then if you go on the fees so again like i said there are the uh, expense ratio here is only 0.03%. So um, if you look about it here, so this is this is what um, uh, other ETFs would charge you over 10 years. Um, and Vanguard is only going to charge you $71 over a 10-year period if you invested $10,000. So compare, so this is how much you're saving, $2,000 dollars um just by buying this etf so etfs are really really low cost um and you just buy it and, and just leave it there so that is one of my favorite uh, vti um so the next one that i like to is let me show you guys this one is um uh, voo voo is another one that it's really really awesome uh this guy tracks their it, so this one has like a the 500 largest companies in in the u.s that's what it tracks so if you see it here representing 500 of the largest u.s companies and so um it's a little bit pricey so 301 at the time we were making this video um and then we can look at it again this is over um uh, 10 year period you know look at this as a rate of return since inception the rate of return is about 14.76 i mean this is ridiculous this is awesome so if you invested $10,000 in 2009, uh, you are going to be, or 2010, I think, yep. It, it, in 2010, you're going to be sitting at about $35,000 right now. This is great, guys. Um, so if you buy uh, VOO or you buy VTI, you cannot go wrong. You'd be just fine. And then... Um, so those are those are my two favorite to get to get you started you can't go wrong with either one of those and again like i said this is just uh stocks um mostly there's no bonds or anything and since you're just starting out and you want to give yourself time to get in there get your hands wet um and, and then so if you look at the fee here again um look at the expense ratio 0 0.03 this is pretty good again you're saving that same amount of money that we just talked about with vti um, and both of these uh, ETFs are owned by Vanguard, so which is awesome. Look at the distribution. So they're paying. Our, look at this is the amount they pay per share. Um, no dividends per share. One point four dollars. One point four. Uh, one point three. And so if you own three shares of this particular uh, ETF, uh, what's going to happen is every quarter you get, you know. Uh, 1.4 times 3 and that's how much you get paid and then you reinvest that dividends back into your uh, 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 Stock and then next time when they pay dividends that amount go up higher. So that's called compounding So now that you know exactly this And you probably be asking yourself like hey, why can't I buy um, an index fund? Great question so let me show you why you cannot buy an index fund right now because you only have a thousand dollars. So let's let's take it in the fund here. Uh, one of my uh, uh, good index funds that um, I love and have in my portfolio is um, VTSAX. So if you have any idea about the fire movement, uh, people in the fire movement uh, that's financial independence retire early, uh, VTSAX is like that's the go-to uh, index fund that everybody buys. <laughs> And for obvious reason, um, I mean, yeah, expense ratio is really low, 0 0.04. Um, but here is why you cannot buy an index fund. Look at this. It says minimum investment 
is three thousand. So just to start investing in this particular index fund, uh, you need three thousand dollars. But guess what? You only have a thousand dollars. So you start with ETFs, and then once you get to the point where you you have enough money, and then you can you should start buying some some um, some index funds. And again, the whole thing here is the expense ratio is a really cheap. Um, you don't you don't spend a ton of money. Return is about seven point one over um, since inception. Um, over a 10 year period so if you invested uh, $10,000 in 2009 in this particular index fund you have about $35,000 right now um, which is good and the difference is like the market would go up and down up and down up and down but when you average it out um, see you you are coming on you're coming out on top which is awesome and then so these are the different um, composition so this particular VTSAX this is the equivalent um, of um, I think the equivalent of VTI um, so VTI is the index fund um, sorry VTI is the ETF and then uh, VTSAX is the index fund so if you wanted to buy the index fund this is what you get but since we're not um, there yet we don't have the money so we're gonna buy um, just the um, ETF in this case so uh, once you once you feel comfortable, and that's why you hit buy, and then that's going to bring you to um, uh, your login page. So let's say we want to buy. So let's go here. We'll hit buy, and then that's going to bring us to your login page, and that's where we're going to log in into the account. So let's get in there. So once you log in, um, again, you want to trade ETFs or stocks. So let's say we select um, ETFs or stocks. So you select the account that you want to use. I have multiple accounts in there. And then you select the uh, transaction type you want to buy. And then in your case, you can either buy um, either VTI. You can't go wrong with either VTI or uh, VOO. So if you select VTI and then you want to enter the amount of shares since if you don't know you only have a thousand dollars and you want to know how much so you use your calculator so if you have a thousand dollars to invest so say put a thousand dollars in the calculate so you're going to get five about five shares of vti and then you say use uh, for trade and it's going to populate that for you and then you select the, the order type in your case since you're buying it right now you do market um, and so just to g give you what's happening so say keep in mind that market orders usually execute immediately which is good so you're gonna buy it right now at the price that's currently trading as I was making this video at a hundred and sixty six um, and seventy two cents so that's the price that's actually trading at so you select that and then you just click continue um, you're gonna you're gonna choose where the, the, the funds are gonna come from um, so if you have maybe a money market account that your money is going to come from and then you just to continue it's going to be okay 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 and that's it and you have invested your first one thousand dollars and so in your case um you have five stocks of of um five shares of uh vti in in your you know in your account in your investment account and then in the future if you you just keep adding it so you can say oh you have you are bringing in two hundred dollars every month you just um, automate the process um, it's gonna bring that money in and invest it and just keep buying uh, maybe you're buying um, you know one one share or two shares every month and just keep adding it and the beauty about that is um, you you buying adding compounding your dividends and everything that comes with it and you're gonna make um, a, a really good amount of money in the future so um, yeah this is it this is you investing your first $1,000 and again guys like I said uh, you can only invest in ETFs uh, or you can invest in individual stocks but it, it takes a lot of uh, risk to invest in individual stocks and also it takes a lot of research to invest in, in individual stocks so ETFs are the way to go with just 1000 and then when you make enough money you get up to the point where you have three four or five thousand dollars in your account then you can move your portfolio maybe buy 
some 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 index funds and then some etfs and just balance it that way and the difference with this that you'll notice is that index funds just trade um they trade at the end of the day why etfs trade at the time that you place the trade so they trade like stocks etfs trade in, like you buy an individual stock that's how etfs trade index fund uh at the end of the, the close of the market the, the price at that time that's what um the index fund is going to trade at so just uh some things for you to consider um so this is it so now you have uh five shares of um, vti in your brokerage account and you can just keep adding from there. so there you go guys as you can see it's very easy for you to start investing um most people get scared when it comes to investing but with uh, technology and with how easy information is available to us today you can definitely start your investment journey um the goal about investing is not to start big it's to start gradually start with a hundred dollars two hundred dollars three hundred dollars and start growing from there like today i'm just showing you guys how we we, we, we did a thousand dollars so if you don't have a thousand dollars you have 500 you can still get started the mistake most people always make is hoping to start making a ton of money before they can start investing which is the really wrong approach if you can start investing ten dollars a day now as you start making more money you can increase that number to say 20 30 40 depending on how you're comfortable get started that's the most important thing so question of the day what are some of the challenges that you've had in your investment path let me know in the comment section if you like the video go ahead and give it that thumbs up if you find it useful share one friend because that's how we get you know people to kind of learn about some of the stuff that we've learned i'm just sharing what i've learned over the years so if you can share it with somebody that will benefit from it definitely go for it and as always stay motivated <laughs>